I'm so tired, but because I didn't sleep last night and I've been crying today, my voice is raspy. Ow! That's like, raspy voiced people are superior. How does it, if you're watching this and you have a raspy voice, how does it feel to be God's favorite? Hmm. You can see me, that's a window. It's me looking back at me, a true reflection. Who is that girl? I cannot see, I cannot hide, I cannot lie. That black girl looking back at me, she is me. Um, yeah, so the hinge date, you know what I'm saying? Mm -mm -mm. It was cool. It was cool. <laughs> we talked for almost an hour. I'm tired. I had a long day. I'm heartbroken, but I hope that I can go to sleep, honey, because like, this being sad shit and not being able to sleep is for the goddamn bird, bitch. If I'm sad, at least let me sleep, shit. I just gotta sit here and be tired and up all night with my thoughts racing, honey. Nobody wants that. So let me go to bed, man. So I'm looking at my altar right now. Ancestors, if I could have one thing tonight, please let me go to sleep. And you know what? I'm gonna take a melatonin just to seal the deal. I'm gonna take me some melatonin. I'm gonna go straight to sleep. It ain't, 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 ain't gonna be a problem, dog. It ain't even gonna be a problem. I'm going straight to counting them Z's, baby. Straight to counting them Z's, baby. I ain't posted a vlog in so long. My YouTube channel is tiny. I would have been over here telling people like, I wanna start my YouTube because I want another form of income, honey. And income is not about to be here for another two years at the rate that I'm going, goddamn. I have not been consistent with these videos. But it's okay. It's because I got a residency. You know what I'm saying? I've been, I've been busy. I've been thinking. I've been dreaming. I've been creating. I've been reading. I've been making. I've been sleeping. I've been chiefing. I've been chiefing. I used to smoke weed. I used to be an avid weed smoker. And low key, this little bout of sadness I got right now is about to make me get back into the sweet green. But I was getting paranoid. And people be like, strain this, strain that. Hey, hey, hey. I've been smoking for at least 10 years now. Okay? Um, I done tried the Indicas, the Sativas, the Hubbards. I done tried it all. Paranoid, paranoid, paranoid. Although, I did have an edible the other day for the first time in a long time. I had a little bite and it went pretty well. It wasn't terrible. But I gotta save edibles for the weekend because edibles be taking me out. I don't know about y'all. But the way edibles interact with my body and I be getting so damn tired and I wake up feeling so groggy, as the Brits would say. But it's nothing more than I want than a little J. I need to get ready to go home. I just really don't feel like getting up and packing my bag and putting my shoes on, honey. I don't, I don't, I don't. I might have to leave it a little messy Cassie up in here. Oh fuck. I actually need to, I'm getting my hair braided tomorrow. I just remembered. I just remembered I'm getting my hair braided tomorrow, which means I need to get it together a little bit more. Cause I was just about to leave out here and leave it a little bit messy, but because I'm not gonna, I'm, mm, I'm, Am I gonna come in tomorrow? <clears throat> I might not come in tomorrow. I might not come to the studio. So I need to make sure that I have everything I need. <clears throat> so I actually do need to do a good job packing up and I need to clean. Okay, this is my view. You see my thick thighs. Um, Need to throw that away. Need to just straighten this up a little bit. Oops, need to pack some stuff up, put my shoes on, you know. Nothing crazy, but I, I can't just walk out like I want. Y'all see my Legos? I'm going to show y'all my Lego creations one day because Legos really been keeping me sane. Also, I feel like my thighs done got thick as hell overnight. Look at this. So look how cute my nails are. But anyways, I have 
Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I have three days left in my residency. It was really supposed to be over a couple days ago, but the person who's taking over the space after me won't be here until Monday, so I have a couple extra days. Although I technically like moved out already, so I don't know. It kind of doesn't feel like my space anymore, but that's fine. But I'm waiting on my Uber now so that I can get over there because I have some things to work on. I'm kind of working on finalizing. Well, not finalizing anything, but I just need to create something tangible to sort of like explain what I've been working through. So that's when I... That's what's been on my mind. But I'm so tired. And I think it's because I'm about to get my period. But I've been so sleepy. Like I went to bed, not super late last night around one, but I was in bed until like 11 and I could have stayed asleep. That's how I know. Ooh. Go Warriors. That's how I know when I'm about to get my period because I have a day where I just, I just, I want to go to sleep forever. And then the day before that, I wanted to sleep forever. And then the day before that, I slept all day. I slept all day on Wednesday. So I've been getting lots of good sleep, but I'm so tired. I'm gonna wait for my Uber, but yeah. I'm really gonna edit videos because I'm gonna have more time. I'm gonna put it back in my routine to edit. And then I'm just gonna hit you with a whole bunch of content. Not that any, like, do y'all, whatever. I'm, you know what? I'm manifesting a subscriber base of loyal loving community well not even loyal like if you fuck with me you fuck with me if not you don't you know <sighs> oh my god <laughs> what an ugly yawn but i'm so beautiful okay you know it's funny i was like oh i was like the other days so i haven't even had enough energy to put on makeup so today i was like oh i'm gonna put on makeup that's a good sign no nah, but I have been working out, which is good. Like, I might not have energy for nothing else, but I'm going to do a little workout. <sighs> trying to, I'm inspired by Ari Lennox. I'm trying to get my body back pre-COVID, but also like a little bit better and more toned. All right, I'm here. Now. I'm here. And... I have some, I mean, I always have reading to do, but today in particular, I'm going to be reading Hortense Spillers because I've heard about this essay in a lot of books I've read from a lot of just people who reference it and, um, I'm really excited because from what I've seen, uh, the way that Dr. Spillers breaks down language is just quite incredible. Um, I guess just as like a, I like breaks down language to just give like a real good foundation for black studies. Um, so yeah, and hopefully, I'm probably not going to get through this all today because I have other things to do and I know that um her readings can be quite a challenge um which is fine like i don't think that whatever i mean i think as i've sort of just been reading more and getting more into different folks who write about black studies or have expanded my idea of just like what i want to read and research i'm realizing the importance of reading to just see how other people have been sort of theorizing and talking about the subject matter um but to the reading be difficult it'd be challenging and that's okay so it's been interesting to sort of like work through certain things my vocabulary is steadily increasing i stay reading certain things like i'm gonna start reading this but i've also been reading um Catherine McKittrick's Demonic Grounds and I've also been reading Michelle Wright's The Physics of Blackness both incredible books um but lots of vocabulary uh that I do not know 
and it's been helpful. I mean, it's been cool because every time I'm reading, you know, I got to look up words and I have to be an active reader. I have to actively engage with the text and sort of like question what I'm seeing, how I related back to myself. Am I reading what I want to read or just reading what they're saying? Because I think sometimes I can sort of just like read through text and just be like, well, I got the gist of it. But I feel like what can, how much more can I get out of my text if I put more into the process of reading them? Um, and also reading more makes you a better writer. So how is this sort of improving the way that I communicate my ideas? Because writing is a great tool, <laughs> uh, but it's, it's hard, it's challenging. Like I'm a talker, so it's easy for me to talk how I feel and share how I feel in that way. Um, but when it comes down to put things on paper, uh, I struggle a little bit, but also I would say that talking sometimes is easy for me and I maybe don't even say um, what I need to say for real, for real, because I haven't even taken the time to really like maybe think with it, sit with it. So, am I, am I ashy? No. So yeah, um, I'm about to read this. I mean, I wish I have pictures of what the studio space looked like. It's really not that big. Like I have a picture and I don't know if it really warranted a tour, um, but everything's kind of stripped down right now. It's all kind of gone. Um, Cause I'm about to move out. But yeah, that's what I'm about to do is read Mama's Baby, Papa's Baby by Hortense, Hortense Spillers. And I don't know if y'all follow Julesy on YouTube or any social media, but she has this book club called Smart Brown Girl and they're currently reading it um, in the book club. And they have, there's three discussions of the essay um, on her YouTube, which is Smart Brown Girl. Um, and I had always been meaning to read this because literally every book, text, whatever that I read references this essay right here. Like this essay seems like required standard reading. So um, I, it had always been something that I wanted to sort of like read and get more into. But when I saw that they were reading it on Smart Brown Girl and I was watching one of the discussions, I'm like, okay, like I, I wanna read it. And with Smart Brown Girl, they're reading it um, sort of like in addition, like they're reading it with Toni Morrison's Beloved. Um, so yeah, also at Smart Brown Girl, you can purchase a syllabus uh, for it. I found this essay online for free because that's be costing money and I don't be paying. I also have a link to a free library that's been really, really beneficial to me on my sort of like independent study journey that has a lot of the text um, for me to download, whereas I probably would have to spend like hundreds of dollars to get them somewhere else. So score, um, but I could put the link in my bio for Mama's Baby Papa's Maybe an American Grammar Book by Hortense J. Spillers. Um, and this is part of a bigger book that she has, I think. I'm just talking out my ass right now. But yeah, I'll put the link in my bio to that free library. Um, but Google is your friend because you shouldn't have to be out here paying for stuff. But I'm gonna get to reading. Oh, I keep like doing that and I keep snatching, like it keeps getting caught and snatching. But anyways, I'm gonna get to that. I'm probably, I got my liquids, lime water. And I also have a little Wah, LaCroix, whatever, but right here. I'm feeling so, like, dysphoric. I don't fucking know. If I'm pregnant, okay. It's always a booger. Let's just handle this while we're here. What? Okay. Handled. Also, much better. All right. What's good? 
what's up what's popping let me get in the sun you know um today is my last day here with this residency shout out to this will take time shout out to ben and tara i hope i'm saying that correctly or tara i'm not sure but thank y'all so 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 much for this opportunity for this space i'm really blessed and i've just been able to conceptualize and read and theorize and experiment and play and move and i've just been able to do a lot of really really amazing things in here and this um month has been really instrumental to what is going to be coming up next for me which i'm not really sure but i just know from the things that i've sort of mapped out and thought of that whatever is next is going to sort of be like the next level of whatever that i've done here so i'm sad to go well i'm not really sad to leave if i'm being quite honest i'm happy to leave um i'm excited for the next artist to come into this space and utilize the best of their ability i mean i think um yeah i'm just really excited for the next person to come in here and just like do what they need to do and for them to experience the magic about this space and honestly like the person creates the space and not the other way around so um yeah it's been real it's been a hell of a lot of fun it's gone by extremely fast but all in all i'm just very grateful um and this is the beginning of much 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 more this is the beginning of so much more so shout out to everyone who's been supporting me on my journey I love you all so much. My dad was in here today and that was really fun. Just talking to him about what I've been working on. And, you know, he was proud of me. So that's fun, you know, it's cool. But yeah, I'm gonna go. This has been real. This has been a really fun time. This is, this is the end. And you can see that I'm, I've cleared it out pretty empty, I've sweat, I've wiped down all the surfaces, and my time is done, but it was amazing. So until next time, bye! I got a website, go look at it if you want to know what I've been up to, and what I'm thinking about, and what I'm working on. Also, I'm accepting clients for PR and communications. If you're a small business or a nonprofit, grassroots, or call it at me. Look at me, shake my body, because I got a website. Thanks, y'all. Uh oh. <laughs> Keep it going. Okay. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>